Welcome today for another segment with Dave and myself, and we're going to show you another pain remedy. We just showed you one before. It's really controversial, and I know I'm going to hear shit about it. Oops, stop about it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Already starting with the... Jeez, Tony. I know, I know. It's the Mediterranean. What can I say? All right. I'm going to show you how to make a pain-killing remedy. A lot of you have restless leg, fibromyalgia, sore feet, body aches and pain, okay? And... You've taken the aspirins and you've taken the Tylenol and now you've got a blown liver because of the Tylenol and you've taken ibuprofen and now your guts are just all in a dither because you've been eating this and you want something to get off those drugs that might help you. Well, we're going to show you how to do it with food. What you're going to use is Hungarian hot paprika. We want the hot. If you can't get the hot, get what you can. This stuff's super good for the eyes, helps improve vision. Okay, it's very good as an analgesic. We're going to use cayenne pepper. Okay. We are going to use the white of a bioflavonoid. Now, this is a pomelo. You can use the whites of a, any citrus, lemon, grapefruit, orange, whatever. I'm going to use this today. And we're going to use a pineapple, okay, right here, a pineapple. Now, what we're doing here, we're going to create a pain remedy, and I did forget one thing. All right, and I forgot one thing, for, and the thing is turmeric. Now. I, you know, we did this pausing so you can have an, uh, 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 an advertisement break. You know, you go to the washroom and get something to eat, whatever. Okay, we're going to put this together. Now, you're not going to need much. Again, we're going to, I'm going to show you how much. Now, again, we're not going to split hairs here. And I keep saying this in every video because this way I don't get you know, emails and getting precise measurements because this is not a precise science. You don't have to be a precise science. You just to give you a guesstimate. You're going to use approximately maybe a tablespoon or a teaspoon of this, whatever you can handle. This is the red pepper. So put it in. Okay, da da da. Let's see what I got in there. About a tablespoon. That's all you need. Now, what I'm showing you is a foundation. Doesn't mean you have to make it exactly this way. If you want to go up higher and stronger, you can. If you want to make it weaker, you can. Whatever works for you, okay? This is the beauty about making your own home remedies. You, you make them to your level. And don't overdo it, whatever you do. If you've never done these things before, again, don't overdo it. Now, we're putting a hot paprika in there, same thing, we're going to put about a, a, a tablespoon. I like this stuff, I really do. I did some research on it and I was really impressed with paprika. You know, it's one of those peppers that, um, again, work, really work really well, especially for vision. Those of you who have poor vision, combine this with marigold. You may be surprised at what the effect it has. And goji berry, because goji berry has taurine in it and taurine helps with the eyes. All right. We're going to take the bioflavonoid and we're just going to break that up and put it in there. Now why are we putting this in there? Because this has, again, the bioflavonoids, which again help heal the blood vessels and things. But this has high levels of, of uh, pectin in it, okay, more so than even an apple. And not just this one in particular, but all the white. So anything, anytime time you get a grapefruit or whatever and you peel it off and you split it in four and you peel off the white, that white is a, a pectin. And you can use that to make it th to thicken things up. Just sort of holds things together, but in and of itself, it helps again remove poisons and toxins in the colon, okay, metals and different things. All right, we are going to add now turmeric. Now, I gotta be careful with this one. Same thing about a tablespoon, give or take. Okay. Turmeric has anti inflammatory properties as well. All of these have either analgesic or anti inflammatory properties. So, what we're doing now is putting this together. I'm gonna add my distilled water. Start. I gotta plug it in. Yeah, I do. All right, I'm gonna blend this up a little bit. Huh? Give me a second. Jeez. <laughs> now, as you can see, I'm not using a high-powered blender. Okay, this is an 8-speed blender, it's an osterizer, I use only osterizers, the reason why I use osterizers is because osterizers, see, are metal on metal, and they don't have that plastic thing, I have a guy who bought a B&D uh, product, and he said the thing lasted all about two minutes, and he just went and shredded on it. Alright, now we're going to come to the magical ingredient, we're going to come to pineapple. Now, some of you are fussy about your pineapple, some of you don't like the core, the core, you can use it in there. And, I, and again, I'm going to use the whole thing. But again, so 
going in there. Do the pieces. Okay, she's pretty well done. She got her, or it's a little bit on the thick side. Pour this into a glass container. This is very highly enzymatic, okay? So what you've got in here is you've got the bromelain from the pineapple. You've got the turmeric. You've got the red pepper. you got the, the paprika there. When you consume this stuff, and you got the pectin from the, uh, in, in the white. When you consume this stuff, okay, it's going to be on the hot side. But all these components have either prostaglandin uh, effect and shutting down the prostaglandin response, shutting down the COX response. It does help shrink down the inflammation. If you combine this with vitamin B1, B1, not a B complex, B1, those of you who have feet, uh, sore feet, will find this will be very effective. If you combine MSM with B1, you'll find it very, it's very effective as well. This does kill pain. Uh, I've had people with uh, feet pain and leg pain that use this in conjunction with MSM and B1 and they swear by it. Now again, those of you who have the lower extremities from the hips down in constant pain, this is going to be a godsend for a lot of you. This will open up the blood vessels and the tiny capillaries and remove any dead blood because it has high levels of fibrogenic activity which breaks down the fibrogens that cause blood clots in the system. Now, if you are using a blood thinner like wafer and rat poison, do not combine them. In fact, take them about four hours apart instead of two because it will make the wafer in the bloodstream more effective and you'll thin your blood and you will end up with bloody noses. If you start using this on a regular basis, you can get off of that bloody drug, which is nothing but rat poison. Waferin is wet rat poison, okay? You can go to any hardware store. If you look at rat poison, that's what's on there. Waferin, don't use that crap. You don't need to. Okay, this is what will do the same thing. So we all get caught up on that, um, uh, that brain damaging effect of following the medical field which gives you poison. And po it doesn't make sense. I'm going to give you a poison to treat a body. You know, think about it for a minute. All right, so this is, a, there you have it. Simple, you can buy this at any grocery store for pennies. Okay, you got the effect of the red pepper, again, which again increases blood flow. You got the effect of the, the pineapple and the paprika. They all increase blood flow. They, they all have analgesic properties. They all have anti-inflammatory properties. You'll be surprised how this is. Now, someone's going to say, well, you didn't try that one. Is it safe? I'm going to take it straight out of the blender. Okay, out of the blender. Ooh. Ooh. It's got a bit of a kick afterwards, <laughs> just so you know. First, you will taste the pineapple. Then you taste the flame. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yes, I'm alive. I'm here. Okay, now this is this is mild. It's just about where it's supposed to be for me. Now again, tweak it, tweak it, tweak it, tweak it. Any of these remedies we show you on these videos, tweak them. My theme is when you say thank you to me, I appreciate you watching the videos. I really do, and I appreciate the fact that you are doing these things. I, it makes me happy that you're trying these things. But I'm also telling you, make them better. See, I want you guys to get smarter than I am, so then I can take a nap. I'm tired. Okay, <laughs> so do this stuff, make them better. Until the next segment, to your health, eh?